Today, I'm the bonsai bloke here. How are you going? Today, I'm going to be uh, repotting a Maria orange jessamine, putting it in a new pot today. Um, I'll just show you my pot that I'm going to put it in. As you can see, we've got a fair old issue here. The wind blew a brick on top of it and it smashed, so a bit of a pity. Um, it was only a cheap pot anyway, but still, you know, it might have suited the tree okay. And now I'm just going to glue up, glue up this corner. It's got a crack along here as well. Glue that up and hopefully it holds the pot. And I'll use this as a front here. And put all this glued crack bit at the back. So I'll glue the pot first and then I'll um, get to putting the tree in for you. I'll just have a show you what happened. Bit of a close up. So yeah, just cracked this whole corner off. The brick's fallen on there so I'm going to glue it with a bit of glue. Hopefully it holds. There's also a bit of a hairline crack in there. I don't know whether the camera picks it up. I think it does. So, not good, but see what we can do to make it a little bit better. I'll just show you too, that's where I've got the tarp. I've got all my stuff at the halfway house here. Still waiting to get another property so I can unpack it all and get some organisation to this mess but anyway the tarp blew up in the wind blew off one of these bricks and it fell on top of the pot so bit of a bugger but things happen eh? alright well let's get to fixing the pot ok guys well as you can see I couldn't really fix the pot properly couldn't find all the broken pieces oh, I mean it doesn't really matter it's only a only a training pot for it so this is a tree I'm gonna put in the pot as you can see there's a fair size difference between what it's in and what I want to put it in it's been in this tub for two years I think so I'm hoping that I can try and keep as many roots as possible and I'll probably leave the foliage on it um, to try and try to encourage more root growth but we'll see what happens if it starts looking like it's wilting a bit I might trim back a few leaves I may anyway because it's starting to get a little bit overgrown um, and yeah so I'll probably repot it on the ground here or at least rake out the roots on that one on the ground here clean it up and then um, yeah, then take it back up by the house and try and put it in this pot. We'll see what roots we got. No worries. Cheers. All right, let's see. Let's see what uh, roots we got here. I'll tip it out the pot very carefully. Yeah, I also think it's a good time to get it in a smaller pot because if I completely develop the whole tree in this big pot, one, it grows too fast and you don't get the ramification and two then I'll run a big risk of um, when I do put it into a small pot that it'll set it way back and maybe even kill it so that'll be a good chance to get in a smaller pot now it looks like it should should go okay there's some roots out here so I've got to carefully rake these back without breaking too many very carefully and yeah I think I should get in that pot pretty easy yeah like I said if I left it in that big pot for another couple years get the whole tree really developed then when I did go to put it in a small pot like this it, it could potentially really set it back so it's very exciting to see it doesn't have too many roots as far as I can put it put it back to that smaller pot reasonably easy 
I have noticed there's a long one here which is going to be a big problem. Very straight long one which I must have just cut. Put in a pot. All the roots have grown on the end so that's a bit of a problem. I don't think I'm going to be game enough to start chopping that off at this stage. There is some roots coming from underneath so maybe next time I repot. But anyway I'll get into a bit more detail of the roots later once I've cleaned it out. So I'll clean the dirt off and get back to you. Cheers. So next step is just to clean the roots up a little bit. First I'll clean underneath the tree a bit. Try not to break any branches off. I've got this big big root here from when I collected it, which is going to cause a bit of trouble in the pot, so that one has to come off. I've got the loppers on here. Oh, shit. Well, there goes the tree on the ground. That's not good. End up breaking branches off doing stuff like that. Yeah, still looks alright. Yeah, it's not very stable on the bottom either at the moment because it's got all this dead, dead bits of wood, so we'll cut. A lot of the bottom facing roots off so it sits nice and flat so that I can then sit it up and work on it without losing it off the stand again. The only thing is some of them need the old lopper treatment and it's a bit hard to use loppers in one hand. There's another massive one back here. Yeah, all the while trying to be respectful of the health of the tree, not taking too much off. I was pretty lucky that when I took it out the other pot, I managed to keep all of its roots. Um, so yeah, I'll just cut all the downwards ones off. Till it sits flat on the bench. Yeah, that wasn't good watching the old tree roll off, was it? Could have wrecked it. Bit of a silly thing to do. Another one facing down here. Without too many roots on it, so it's not going to affect it much. Got to always be mindful how much you take off, especially this is not the ideal time of year for me to be doing it, but is a pretty tough tree and when it does come to full on repot time in spring I don't have time to do the whole lot so I've got to get some done now okay you can see this long straight one out the front here there's some good roots on the end of it but there are some there are some good roots in close on it so I'm gonna get the loppers on it Chop it off. I'll go on the other side. So I'll get the loppers in here. Chop it off. As you can see, that reduced the height a bit. Lost a fair few roots. Don't want to do too many of those cuts. But as you can see, there are some roots in behind which will now strengthen up and take over from the other lot while being a lot closer to the trunk. Another major one I have here which has to go I'm just going to work out how many roots are on it. It's this downward facing one here because that's just going to make it impossible to put into a smaller pot. Very hard. Almost need two people to do this sort of work. 
So I'll probably just chop the downward facing bits off and see how it looks after that. Trying not to take off too much. Okay, I think I can probably get that into that pot. Possibly could take a little bit more off. Yeah. It is a training pot, so it is quite deep. Let's take a few more of the downward facing. starting to look not too bad okay and I had a bit of a look at this straight ugly thing here and I've decided there's a lot of roots underneath it which are growing strong next to it there's a dead one here which could probably come off so yeah because it's got a nice strong root system underneath it I don't think there's any point in keeping it there's a few roots on the end but I don't think it's vital to the survival of the tree. So I'll try and cut that off, it's quite thick. Cut it in nice and close to the trunk. Maybe clean it up. Yeah, so some of these others will take over. I do want to get rid of another. This is sort of a half dead one in here, not doing much. It's only got a couple of roots on the end. So yeah, now just look for anything that's rotted off. There's not much on the end. I'd like to get a bit closer in on this one. another rotted off one here oops looks like that was holding it up yep did one there um starting to get to about all I want to take off this thing now so now all I'm going to try and do is straighten up a lot of these roots comb them out flat I don't really want this bunch of roots right next to the trunk here. It's got a nice trunk in there. Um, but I'm not sure how much option I've got as far as getting rid of it. Because that's a lot of root mass for the... A lot of percentage of root mass that I'll take off if I took that one off. So I think for now I'll leave it. Same with these. Um, there's a crossing... You can probably see there's a crossing one which crosses over the whole trunk here and wraps around it. That's extremely ugly, so that has to go no matter what. Yeah, next time I repot, I'll um, get rid of a few of these closer ones once these other roots develop a bit better in the pot. These long ones here, generally you would trim them back in close here, but I really don't want to take too much off. And I think now we've got it to a size where it'll fit into that pot. Alright, so I'll get the pot ready. And then see if we can put it in. Cheers. Okay, so here we are. We've got the drainage screens in the pot. A bit of tie down wire ready to go. Uh, another thing, throughout this whole process I've been misting down the tree and the roots just to keep it keep it healthy keep it wet so it doesn't dry out um, next thing to do I'll just put a bit of soil in the bottom of the pot just to fill in underneath the tree and we're going to plonk the tree in on top to where I want it to go it's 
pot's almost a bit small, but uh, well, at least next time I repot it, it won't be too hard because I'll probably either upsize or stay with the same size pot and I won't have to worry about cutting it hard ever again. Cutting it back hard like this time. Should be alright though, there's still a fair few roots. Um, I think it'll be okay. So now I'll just work it into the potting mix that I've put in. Try and lean it forward a little bit, but I don't want the back roots hanging out the pot, so it's probably enough. Reasonably the front of the tree there, I think. So now the next thing to do would be to chuck some soil around the whole tree and then work it in with a stick or your finger. You can best to do it dry so it works in better. Make sure the potting mix is dry. So you quickly work it all in everywhere and then tie down the tree just as well. So you could do that now if you want to, tie down the tree. Just pull your tie downs across. Do it up with a pair of pliers. Make sure it's not squashing any major roots that could be marked for good. Don't want to have to look at squashed roots later on, so you make sure it gets under them. Let me just cross it over, same at the back. Then do it up with a pair of pliers. some of the roots pretty well still got enough roots left on there I'm pretty pretty hopeful of that um, I'll probably leave it in a bit of uh, um, it'll get morning sun afternoon shade uh, we are in winter here in South Australia so shouldn't be too big a deal should recover okay um, yeah I'll work the soil into the roots put the moss on as you can see so last thing last thing left to do is just to give it a bit of a water so I'll give it a bit of a water then I'll give it a bit of a um, give it a bit of a spin for you again in spring or if it starts to wilt a bit because of the repotting but probably in spring I'll cut cut it back a bit and when it firms up in the pot maybe late spring early summer I do the carving on all these dead bits here do a bit of carving make it more interesting get rid of some completely and that's pretty much it for this one for now um, hopefully in this small pot it'll uh, start to ramify a bit quicker that branch got a bit bent when it fell off the table she's alright yeah so hopefully it'll ramify a bit quicker now that it's in a smaller pot as far as smaller internodes smaller growth it'll be slower growing but you should put on some fine twigging now no worries please like share subscribe Aussie Bonsai bloke, cheers for watching, and I'll catch you later, cheers.